Hey there, Recovery Fam. Welcome back to Scott's Thoughts, where you never have to feel alone. If you're new to the community, uh, welcome. Welcome home to Scott's Thoughts. So yeah, I wanted to bring you another reading from the Just For Today book today. Um, it's a part of the NA literature, more of a spiritual read than some of the other literature that, uh, that uh, I've, I've read in uh, recovery as well. So, uh, so yeah, um, it was a really awesome reading I want to share with you today. It's called, uh, it's for March 28th, and it's called Facing Feelings. And there's always a little reading before the reading. Uh, today's little reading says, We may find, we, we may fear that being in touch with our feelings will trigger an overwhelming chain reaction of pain and panic. And that's from the basic te text, page 30 of the, of the Blue Book of Narcotics Anonymous. And the reading for today is, While we were using, uh, we, many of us, we're unable or unwilling to feel any emotion. If we are happy, we used to make us happier. If we are angry or depressed, we used, we used to mask those feelings. In continuing this pattern throughout our active addiction, we became emotionally confused that we weren't sure what normal emotions were anymore. After being in recovery for some time, we find that some emotions we had suppressed suddenly began to surface. <clears throat> Excuse me. We may find that we need, we do not know how to identify these feelings. What, what we may be feeling as rage may only be frustration. What we perceive as su suicidal depression may simply be sadness. These are, these are the times when we need to seek the assistance of our sponsor or other members in, of NA. Going to a meeting and talking about what is happening in our lives can help us face our feelings instead of running from them in fear. And there's always a just for today, and today is just for today. I will not run from, run from my uncomfortable emotions I may experience. I will use, this, use the support of my friends in recovery to help me face my emotions. This is a... I really needed this reading today. Um, facing feelings. Oh. I remember in being in active addiction, as long as I was numb, I was okay. <laughs> I didn't want to feel, because feel equaled hurt. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I've, ta I've talked about it lots of times. I brought up, I was brought up in, 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 a, in a house around people that told me that feelings and, and showing my emotions, feeling anything or showing emotion was, was a weakness. So I always buried all those feelings and emotions way deep down inside of myself because I didn't want to show that in, in front of my family or anyone I knew that I thought it was a weakness. And today I know it's not. Uh, today I know showing my feelings and my emotions are, are important. They're, 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 crucial in my living in my daily living in recovery and in recovery um i've also learned in recovery that feelings aren't right or wrong they just are you know um and that made a big difference too um today i'm not i'm not afraid to show my emotions i'm not afraid to let myself feel i'm not afraid i'm not afraid to let people in, you know, become, let myself be vulnerable, let, share, share life stuff. I had a, I had a sponsor tell me that nothing was going to change in my life and, and, until I started talking about real life stuff or, and, or, and, and like around the tables and recovery and stuff like that. And when I started to talk about my life stuff and, and, and share that with other people and I was, as I was sharing, I was working through my own stuff right there in that moment. And, and I started to have instant results. You know, people were, were saying, wow, oh, I can relate with that. Or, or we'd go and we'd go for coffee and we'd talk about more life stuff. And, and it's about connecting, connecting with other people, right? And, and being able to self-identify with, with my feelings. We talks about, it talks about in the reading about not even knowing how to identify with our feelings and stuff like that. I was like, I started to, uh, it says, it talks about how our feelings all started coming to the surface and stuff like that. Now as a, 
emotional freaking wreck when I first came into recovery when I started to really let myself open up and feel and stuff like that because I was always just so raw inside all the time all emotional and, and and I can still get that way I'm going through a lot of stuff right now in my life that even yesterday a whole bunch of stuff just caught up with me and I was just full of it full of anxiety again because this is so much change all happening all at once right now you know so I went to a meeting and and right now my my goal is to at least get a temporary sponsor and stuff like that and uh you know, I still need to pick up the phone and call the sponsor I have right now in freaking Essex, you know, and I didn't do the do thing. <laughs> but then someone, uh, I messaged someone else in recovery last night and they shared something with me and I shared something with them, you know, and, and, and I felt better because I'm sharing my life stuff with someone else, you know, and that's how this works for me. You know, it's all the whole empathy aspect. You share, I share. You feel, I feel. You know, so... And and I felt much better after I started... I, I, I openly shared my life stuff with someone else. And, they, and no one... It's just being of being there just to be the listener. And being of service to anyone else. That just maybe needs someone to listen that day. And I can do that, you know? It's okay to let myself feel. I gotta, I gotta remember to breathe. <laughs> You know, just take a breath, hold it for five seconds, let it out. You know, do some deep breathing, do some meditation, and uh, and when I'm doing the doing that stuff, I'm not I'm not feeling so overwhelmed. I'm not so I'm not feeling so full of anxiety or fear or depression and stuff like that. You know, I thought I thought it was all about the extremes. If I was sad, I was this crippled by anxiety you know I wouldn't leave I would isolate in my freaking apartment and I wouldn't go out and I wouldn't be around people or if I was angry I was to the extreme as well you know I would lash out at people and and, and cause even more harm you know and that's why the self-identification when it comes to my feelings is so important and crucial in my daily living and I'm able to, I'm able to self-identify and catch myself when I, when I'm starting to get overwhelmed or full of anxiety or fear today, and it makes all the difference. You know, I'm able, I'm more apt to pick up the phone. I'm more apt to get out of the house and not isolate or get to a meeting and and to share my life stuff with someone else. You know, so it's a, it's a wonderful life. It's just a life full of opportunity, and I, and I know that today, and it all has to do with this being a disease of feelings. <laughs> you know, that's what ad addiction is for me. It's, an, it's a disease of feelings. If I'm holding all that crap and all those feelings and emotions inside of myself and not sharing that with someone else, not, n that's never, that's never going to go away. So I have to talk about life stuff. i gotta talk, I got to share my life stuff with someone else and give... And give this away to someone else. Well, so maybe someone else was going through the same kind of stuff, and they need someone to identify with themselves, so they so they don't feel so alone, you know. So, so yeah. So that was the reading today. Facing feelings. Um, if you're new to the community, um, welcome, welcome home to Scott's thoughts. We never have to feel alone. And I'll see you all again very soon. Have a wonderful day.